Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet and welcome to my channel. Today I'm so freaking excited because I am back with another affordable lip swatching video and today we're going to be lip swatching the brand spanking new CoverGirl Ulti Matte Liquid Lipsticks that recently released. I got 8 out of the 18 shades that were released and I wanted to show you guys how it looks in studio lighting and natural lighting. So if you're interested in seeing how these lip swatches go, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos like this all the time. I even have a lip swatching playlist up here. And without further ado, let's get started. I just had a sandwich. Hey guys, so let's start. I know I have a full face of makeup. I never do that when I do lip swatches, but... It's a filming two-in-one type of day, so. so I have nothing on my lips right now, per the usual, especially, especially when I do any matte lip swatches, I do exfoliate my lips. I only use this e.l.f. Um, exfoliator because it's the only one I have, and it's only four bucks, and it's shaped like a lipstick, so it's freaking perfect. So what I do is do it for like a minute, and then I'll be back. I did it for like 45 seconds, but you get the gist. I'm going to get this. I usually use a paper towel, but I have this makeup wipe right here, so I'm just going to use that. So I try not to waste paper as much because, first of all, it's scarce. And second, like, it's wasteful, you know? I use I usually use one paper towel per, like, makeup session or, like, filming session sort of thing. I, I don't use to like I'll use every inch of a paper towel just cuz also I'm kind of cheap so all right so lips are exfoliated that usually just helps remove that first layer of usually like dead skin the dryness of your lips really depends on the weather or if how much water you drink and the stuff you eat my lips lately have been pretty dry so let's get close so let me give you guys a little bit of info about the CoverGirl Outlast Ulti Matte Liquid Lipstick. It is a one-step lipstick color that gives you an intense matte color that lasts up to 24 hours. It is transfer resistant and leaves the lips feeling moisturized. Oh, okay. We have to check that one out because matte and moisturized don't really go together. It is vegan, cruelty-free, and that's it. Okay, cool. I got mine at Walmart for $7.94, and the reason I went directly to Walmart is because on CoverGirl's Instagram, it stated that, that 6 out of the 18 shades were exclusively at Walmart. I didn't get all 18 shades because that was very expensive, but I ended up getting 8 shades, and I tried to get a shade of each color range so you guys can see how they swatched, you know? So these are the shades I got. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys here with my phone. These are the shades I got from lightest to darkest. And of course, I usually go from lightest to darkest, especially matte lipsticks, they're gonna stain the lips, you know? As usual, I'm gonna show you guys here in studio lighting, and then I'm gonna go in front of my window and show you guys in natural lighting so you guys can see the difference. The first one is called Love You Mocha. Looks like this. Let's open her up. Oh, look at the doe foot. It's little. I love little ones. Because they hug your lips so perfectly, you know? I don't really have a defined, defined Cupid's bow. So I love these little doe foot applicators that, suit, that really, really help you outline. All right, let's start. Let's see if it's moisturizing. gonna let it dry a little bit and go in with the second layer because I feel like you could build it up a little bit more this is the shade 165 love you mocha all right two things it smells like it gives me like an aloe vera smell or like a medicine smell I don't know it's weird my first thought was aloe vera but it does feel moisturizing. It's a little sticky. But it does. They're right. It is. It does feel moisturizing. You could build it up too. It says one swipe. It's not really one swipe because, the, well, I guess the one swipe covered one half a lip. So maybe one swipe per lip. I don't know. <laughs> 
But anyway, let's go in front of the window. And in natural sunlight, this is the shade Love You Mocha. All right, up next is the shade Prosecco Pop. Also, by the way, I feel like CoverGirl, the last few reviews I've done, just haven't wowed me. So hopefully this one is the one that we're that we give a thumbs up, you know? A Prosecco Pop. <laughs> The shade Prosecco Pop. This shade really goes well with the eye look right now. <laughs> but I actually like this shade, this mauve shade. But you see, I feel like now the lips are starting to look dry. You see? And in daylight, this is the shade Prosecco Pop. You know what, since we're feeling a little dry right now, I'm gonna add a little bit of Vaseline before I add the next shade. Just so you guys can see how it looks, just very little. I use Vaseline as my chopstick. I feel like Vaseline doesn't really make your lips peel or have that, you know, waxiness that chopstick has. But, okay, next is a Brutiful Day. Nice pink shade. <laughs> So this is how we're looking with a little bit of Vaseline. So not bad. It feels a lot better. You get more of the moisturize effect and it's less wrinkly. I mean, lips are just going to be wrinkly unless you have filler, but I don't. So my lips are just going to be wrinkly and it's okay. That's normal. So this is the shade Brutiful Day. And in daylight, this is the shade Brutiful Day. All right, guys, I added a little bit of Vaseline just because I think it's the most realistic and the best way that we wear matte lipsticks because no one wants to look super dry, right? Dry and crusty. And something that I just thought to tell you guys, it's super easy to remove. I remove it with the makeup wipe, but you guys have also told me to remove super matte lipsticks with micellar water or coconut oil or any sort of oil that just helps it dissolve. So yeah, it's really, really easy to remove. All right, we are moving on to the next one. It is Tickled Pink. I do feel like they have a lot of pink shades, a lot of different types of pink shades with which is why I didn't get them all. It was going to be like 10 pink shades. I realized that with these, you do have to build it up at least with two layers. It's probably because the adult foot applicator is very small and it doesn't pick up as much product. For me, personally, it's fine because I like small dofa applicators, but if you don't like that, just the FYI, you do need at least two layers. Alright, this is the shade Tickled Pink. And in daylight, this is the shade Tickled Pink. Back This time, I'm not going to wear Vaseline just to see how the lipstick looks, if my lips look wrinkly again or not. I don't know. You never know. All right, next is Beso Rosa. This one is a little, I feel like it's a little bit more moisturizing. And in daylight, this is the shade Beso Rosa. All right, guys, let's move on. Next is Spritz Blitz Oral Shade. I like this shade. This shade's pretty. This is the shade Spritz Blitz. And in natural sunlight, this is the shade Spritz Blitz. Another thing I've noticed too is that these these liquid lipsticks, they're not staining at all. At all. Next, finally, a red shade, Wine O'Clock. I literally 
literally held my breath for that one. All right, this is the shade Wine O'Clock. I will say I had to go three layers in with this one. So just a quick FYI, but this is a pretty shade. And in daylight, this is the shade Wine O'Clock. All right, guys, my lips are officially on fire. <laughs> All right, but we're on the last one. My eyelash is about to come off, so we need to hurry up. Next is the shade No Winging. No Whining? Oh, it's No Whining. It's spelled like wine, like what you drink. I'm going to hold my breath, and you'll see. <laughs> is the shade no whining and in daylight this is the shade no whining hi so this is it this is the the eighth and final lip swatch of the new maybelline ulti matte liquid lips and honestly i actually really really like them i think they worked very well they weren't too drying i feel like depending on the shade you can see more of the drying on your lips. Like these lighter shades, you can see them a lot more as opposed to these darker shades, which is fine, but that's something I realized as I was lip swatching them. But other than that, I really like them. They feel comfortable, they dry really quick, so you don't have that long waiting period for them to dry. I love the Dofa applicator. I love the pigment. It doesn't give you too much pigment or it's not too little. You do have to build it up though. If it bothers you to keep dip, dipping in there, this may not be for you because the you did have to dip in. I don't have big, big lips. So if you have bigger lips than me, you'll probably have to dip in two to three times. So just keep that in mind because that's something I've never really encountered before when I've done lip swatches is really having to dip back in, but it didn't bother me, but just that's something that I definitely wanted to tell you. I really wish the shade range, or maybe it was just my picking, I pretty much got very similar shade right here. Three out of the eight, I feel like we're very, very pinky. That's probably my bad. Looking at the website, I do see a lot of pinks. I should have got maybe one purple because there's a purple there, but you know, I personally always go towards darker shades because they look better on my skin tone as opposed to lighter shades. Although I did really, really like Love You Mocha. I feel like it's a very, very nude, nude shade. It's more of the brown nude shade, and I personally like brown nude as opposed to like a pink nude. And another thing, guys, I've noticed or I'm noticing is that you kind of get the butt lips really quick. Look. You see? Like. So that kind of sucks, but I feel like that usually just happens with matte lipsticks. It's one of the downfalls. But other than that, they're eight bucks. They're available at Walmart. I know they're at Ulta. And yeah, they're readily available. I like them. They worked well. Let me know which shades are you guys' favorite because I think I like these shades the most. The Love You Mocha, Prosecco Pop, Wine O'Clock, Spritz Blitz, and No Whining. These right here. And before I forget, I'm going to have this look up on the channel in my next five looks using one palette. I just don't know when exactly because my whole order is all messed up, but it definitely will be up on the channel. I'll put it here once it's up and you guys will see it. But I think this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this super quick lip swatching video in studio lighting and in natural lighting. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and I'll talk to you guys next one. Bye.